Agriculture, perhaps one of the most important human developments in the past 10 to 12,000 years. Because of agriculture, humans were able to settle down, stop being hunter-gatherers, develop urban centers. Urban centers then became the places of development and innovation. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at one of the more important parts of agriculture, the hearths, the starting points of it. Pretty good apple. So when we're talking about the hearths, we're talking about the starting points of agriculture around the world. The first important place that we see as a hearth was Southwest Asia. Eventually, this diffuses into North Africa, Southern Europe, and Central Asia. More than about 10,000 years ago, man settled down and started growing barley, wheat, oats, and rye, even olives. What probably happened were the uh, hunter-gatherers were moving around and they were casting out things like seeds and the unedible part of the plant, and they started seeing that things were kind of growing there. In addition, animals started coming up and eating the scraps and started becoming more and more used to humans. This eventually leads to the animals being domesticated by the humans of that region. In Southeast Asia about 10,000 years ago, we see things like the mango, the taro root, and coconut get domesticated. In East Asia, it was rice and soybean, and that was about 10,000 years ago as well. In West Africa and North Africa about 7,000 years ago, we see coffee, rice, sorghum, and yams. And then very important in the Western Hemisphere about 5,000 years ago in Mesoamerica, we see things like corn or maize, peppers, potatoes, and squash become domesticated there. Another important part of human development is moving these agricultural products around. For example, we associate potatoes with Ireland, but we just got done saying the hearth was in the Americas. Well, it first starts with local trade. Small little communities started trading among themselves in one region. Then we got the empires. And as empires spread, they started moving agricultural products from one end of the empire to another. For example, Rome was able to move goods from uh, England all the way to North Africa, all the way to the Middle East. A really big development was the Colombian Exchange. This was the triangular trade area between Africa, the Americas, and Europe. And this is where we start seeing goods being moved between those three areas, which really transformed how agriculture was grown uh, by humans during the uh, 1415 and 1600s.